so guys for the first time ever in my life I have the key of a Lamborghini and then to do SE in my hands so guys for the first time ever in my life I have the key of a Lamborghini Aventador SV in my hands. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is an insane experience. Since it's my first time interacting with this car, I will make mistakes. So I will, but I really want to get you through all my experiences in this channel. So come with me. But first, this is the key. Here we have the button to unlock the doors. And as you can see here, the sound. Oh my God. Here. The handle is here somewhere. Yeah, I can feel the plastic part of the door handle. And then you push it, it's a button. It will go up this beautifully. Got that this is a UK car, so the steering wheel is in, on the right side. <laughs> I, I'm used to the left side uh, steering wheel, so I'm, right now I'm going to close the passenger side. And then we go through the other side so I can feel that part for you. <clears throat> I got to be extremely careful, it's not my car. I want you to hear the sound of the lock. Just come closer a little bit more. Yeah, we have this sound. So beautiful. I know it's not very special sound, but it's, it's the experience. And then we open up the door like this. So beautiful, it's insane. Wow. Guys, this is so hard to get inside so hard to get inside and <laughs> oh my god it sits so low but oh it's very amazing it's a very interesting this center console here i have no idea what these buttons do <laughs> i just know that this one is for the start button you have to put it up like a fighter airplane this is so crazy such an insane feeling when you put this up it's so crazy i really love it and then you have the uh, handbrake button here the electronic one and then you have this uh, small screen for the infotainments and the controls you have the knob here to control the volume this is for the windows here as i'm learning just right now i have no other idea this is for the adjustment of the suspension to lower it and you have the climate controls over here for the adjustments of which vent you want it to work and <clears throat> you have the navigation info the setup media and guys take a look at this steering wheel this steering wheel is so so nice to feel you have this alcantara material all over it you have this glossy black finish over here in the middle and you have this shifter paddles on the behind the steering wheel which if you come closer I want to click it so you can hear the sound just wait this is so crazy so crazy and man I just this is just so insane I really love the buttons over here they're so cool you can pull them I'm not sure if this is a sunroof or what but uh, I don't see any controls here to open it. No, for sure it's not a sunroof, I'm sorry. I'm being a very, very newbie right now to the <laughs> Lamborghini. And if you come here, I want to show this door handle to you. This is so crazy, you can pull it and then you can close the door. It's actually really heavy. I didn't want to close the door because I'm trying to get out pretty easily and this here if you look this is the part where you adjust the side view mirrors and guys this Alcantara material all over the place I'm really loving it really loving this Alcantara material but the seal here is actually very long so that's kind of what makes the getting in and outside of the car very difficult and also the seat is very deep in the back as uh, you can see my butt is pretty low down 
And the interesting thing is that I've never noticed. When you sit here, you literally see nothing in the front. Like literally, I cannot see the bonnet. I don't know how is it possible to control this car and not to crash it to the anywhere. Like this is so hard to drive. Like this is such a hard car to drive. <laughs> this is so crazy. And the A pillar here is actually very wide. It makes it also very difficult to see around the vehicle. But although the experience is very insane, the practicality is not the best in this car. This is, but this is so crazy. So let me right now get out of the vehicle. I'm going to pass the camera again. And this is how, how am I going to get out of the car? <laughs> so let me come through here. You have to sit on the seal a little bit and then put your leg underneath the steering wheel and then you're out it is such a difficult thing to do to be honest but anyway i rather have this kind of difficulty and problem in my life than anything else and right now we are going to close the door the feeling of this big part where you are able to put your hand on and close the door is so amazing and it's closed off and there is a beautiful detail behind the A-pillar glass and this is one of 600 units of this Aventador SV. This is so crazy, I've never seen that detail. And if you come close to the headlights, take a look at these beautiful crystal details, guys. This is so insane. How could a design team come up with this kind of details? This is so crazy. And then let's move to the back and let's see what kind of details we can find in the back they have this beautiful beautiful glass panels which cover the engine bay and actually they help the heat to be extracted more efficiently out of the engine bay and right now as i'm looking to the engine bay i'm noticing something if you just give me the camera i want to show the positioning of the engine like if you see that this is the middle of the engine bay cover as you can see from the points of the glass covers and you can see the engine is sitting a little bit on the left side this is this is very weird if you come down here you can see these four exhaust pipes over here which are actually really cool i've never noticed this detail on the back of the aventador sv because this is so crazy this is so beautiful